How much energy do you have in your energetic bank account? Are you running on empty or are you building up your energy reserves? So take a look at how you've been feeling lately. Have you been tired or are you increasing your energy? So making sure you get enough sleep, you're eating good healthy food and you're moving your body, dancing, putting on some music and asking yourself what generates joy because joy equates to energy. When you are doing what authentically brings you joy in your body, it is increasing your energy. Now you also get to ask yourself, what is depleting your energy? And are you feeling any anxiety? Anxiousness is generally a fear of the future. So you get to find yourself present in this moment, breathing into your heart, feeling into your heart and breathing and relaxing. So what if you're feeling sadness? What if you're feeling regret? That's usually being stuck in the past. So it's interesting how our emotions allow us to sense where we're at. Are we present in this moment right now? Or are we thinking about the past or are we worrying about the future? So feel into that right now and allow yourself to just know that you're safe. You're safe right now in this moment because it is part of your well-being to know that you are safe. Today is day nine of our journey into well-being and I'm so happy you're here with us. And so today is new, now is new. So as you feel into that, you get to also realize that healing and being present in your body is a choice. So what does it mean when you don't wanna be present here right now, or you're off in the past, or you're worrying about the future? It means that there's some healing that is left to be done. So healing involves some discomfort and it's why we resist it so often. But it's actually in going through the emotions, going through the fear, or going through the sadness or the regret, and actually acknowledging how we're feeling, where are we feeling it in our body? What is the sensation that we're feeling? And it's by taking those moments to actually get present to observe and witness yourself, that you have the space and the capacity to move through it, to not perpetuate it, because by not going through it and perpetuating it, what that creates is it creates more pain and discomfort. So you're gonna feel it regardless, so you might as well feel it and allow yourself to move through it so that you can actually heal it because you don't want to be stuck in a loop. You don't want your energy consumed to be sucked dry <laughs> because you don't want to deal with the stuff and continue the patterns that keep you stuck in the trauma and the drama and recreating patterns just with different people <laughs> because life is precious. You are precious. And life is, is too short to waste another day, another hour, another minute. So I'd like you to look at how, how can we move beyond this? So getting present in your heart, breathing, and also recognizing what are your accomplishments? What are you proud of yourself for? because you've come a long way on this journey of life and it's time to acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge the space and everything that you have had to endure in your life, as well as all the wonderful things that have come into your life. All of the lessons 
the growth that you've experienced and the opportunities and the experiences to actually learn and grow. Those are all wonderful, insightful opportunities to own your wisdom as well as your energy. Take your energy back. Take it back today. Cut the cords of whatever has been holding you back. Whoever has been holding you back. And most, we can actually, when we get honest, realize that we are the ones that are holding ourselves back. So today, I'd love for you to just recognize that you have the power, reclaim your power, speak your truth, own it, feel it, move through it, learn from the experiences, and actually see the opportunities that you have to learn and grow. And then know that any failure, any mistakes that you might have gone through, each one of those was a golden nugget of wisdom. You now know what you don't want. You now know what direction not to go. You now know what not to choose. And that is wisdom. And so consider them as stepping stones to the vision and the future and the energy and the capacity that you have within you and the space that's opening up in you and around you to create the life that you truly deserve. I'm Jacqueline Bamanek with Vibrational Energy Solutions. I'm a resilience mentor and transformational life coach. I'm so glad that you're here with us today. And if you'd like more information on the journey into well-being, please feel free to reach out, share a comment, and I would love to book a call with you and invite you to my upcoming masterclass to help you to gain the emotional awareness to transform your life. Bye-bye for now. This is Jacqueline saying, make it a great day, and I'm sending so much love your way. Bye for now. Bye.